Hello everybody, it's the 1st of December, Trader Cobb here, uh, just a quick one, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Facebook, Trader Cobb, C-O-B-B, also the Crypto Revolution Investments YouTube page, subscribe to that as well as their Facebook and Twitter. Guys, it's been an interesting, interesting period of time, I think I say that every single time I do one of these videos because it's just a bloody interesting time to be alive, to be honest. Um, look, bottom line is a couple of things, okay, I'm looking at Bitcoin now. Uh, everyone wants to know where it's going to go to. I don't know. I've got no idea where it is going. All right. So, uh, you know, I'm not even going to pretend to try and pick a top because it's just on a rampage. What I will do, though, is I'll keep an eye on it because we have a top and we're back from it a little bit. I'm just going to draw in fibs. Very straightforward, you know, my drill. Uh, and look, the area that makes the most common sense to me for buying opportunities, if we do get a bit more of a pullback, is 8 Thousand. That's on a daily time frame. Don't forget that if we look at the weekly, that pullback, if it needs to happen on the weekly, and it will at some point, needs to be somewhere down around the seven thousand dollar point. So it can go uh, seven thousand down, even as far as six thousand. Okay, we've got plenty of opportunity for selling to come in. It's just that the uh, the extreme each time we hit a bull market. I mean, if you could recall the last time when I said three thousand, I mean, look at the look at the velocity at which we we're, we're increasing. This move was pretty powerful. This move was even more powerful. This move has been even more powerful. So it's difficult. Like I was picking about 9,000 until we might find some resistance based off the multiple of three rule that's been working quite well, sorry, quite well thus far. But we've blasted through that. We do need a decent pullback. When will it happen? I don't know. If institutional money pours in, like there's a lot of talk of, if that happens in 2018, well, then we'll see Bitcoin continue to go higher. I would love to be buying Bitcoin down around $6,000. I would love to be buying Bitcoin down around $6,000 by the end of the year. So we could all get cheap alts, fill our bags on Bitcoin, get ready for 2018 and uh, go and buy a yacht at the start of 2019. But that's my Bitcoin analysis, guys, keeping a very close eye on it. It is getting volatile. One thing I will say is this, when I'm trading, I don't like to trade when the candles get big. I like this sort of stuff. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Look at this, it started to get very big. It started to get volatile. Uh, it's getting more volatile. There are sellers in there. Uh, just be aware, be careful, and do your thing. Okay, uh, I'm going to have a look at a couple of others. I want to jump down and have a look at Ethereum against the US dollar. Why do I look at the US dollar? Because we're trading against Bitcoin. I'm a trend trader, guys. I trade with the trend and trading against Bitcoin right now. There are no trends. So I look for, oh, I look for uh, trending opportunities and it's against the dollar. Then I go across to Bitcoin and try and time my entry against the US dollar into Bitcoin. Now, I'm not going to go and do a video on that because it will take a very, very long time. But if you want to know more, get me on Twitter, Trader Cobb, and I'll probably be teaching something along the lines at some point in time. Ethereum yesterday, I said that I wanted to see it pull back to about 380. We just about got there and it's bounced. Um, there were some comments on some Slack groups that said that they would eat certain parts of their anatomy. If we got the 380, I'm sure they were sweating bricks uh, right around 385. I stand by this call. I believe it will pull back into about 380. We may not from here, but um, you know, I'm happy with that. I think that looks like a good place to be buying uh, Ethereum, looking for a good opportunity there to add to the portfolio and what I believe to be a fundamentally very strong coin, obviously top five. Um, you know, it's a, it's an absolute cracker, and I think it will continue to see institutional money when that money comes flowing in in 2018. And a lot of my trading decisions, uh, sorry, my, not my trading decisions, a lot of my investment decisions at the moment are based around uh, what will be where the institutional money goes. Established companies, established businesses that actually have a product and it's being used, think IOTA, think Dash, you know, these are the sorts of companies I'm talking about. We saw IOTA add uh, IBM, sorry, Microsoft and um, Fujitsu, I think it was. Um, I mean, that that's a business that is running. It is, it, it's got clients, and I just think it's going to go from strength to strength, and that's why I think institutional money will flow in. It, that's so. Uh, that's my eth ethereal look. Uh, I've had a couple of people on my um, uh, uh, Twitter asking me to have a look at. Um, at some of these coins, so I'm going to do that real quickly. Next, okay, so let's have a look at NXT. Uh, look, I mean, look, the fact of the matter is, is this, we sort of had the pullback. Uh, if we look at drawing from here to here, about 61.8, I'm gonna say, 
Yep, pretty much. Boom, down at 1.5. We're bouncing from there. It's back into an area now. The good thing is here, guys, it is trending. I like trending markets. It's that simple. Everything I do, everything I trade, ever, forever, forever, ever, ever, is around trading the trend. So do I like this on a, purely from a technical standpoint? Yeah, I do, because it's trending very, very well. Uh, the next one, DGB against the dollar will go. Pollen next seems to have smoother looking charts. Um, okay, so this is a bit more, oops, this is a bit more interesting. Why is it interesting? Well, we've hit some support down here. Uh, notice how when I read a chart, I, I do not, there's nothing else I look at, it's just the chart. What's the chart telling me? Strong support, we had divergence through here as we set new lows off of that support. Now we have a higher low, higher high, pulling back, maybe even an opportunity on the four hour off of what I call parity, because it's, you know, that 0 0.1, so 10 cents. If you have a look here, oh, we're just outside of the zone that I like to be trading in. But I mean, look, we've got a nice uptrend in place. I don't love it on the four hour. I do like the look of it on the daily as it has started to turn and therefore it is in a trend. Uh, I fundamentally have no idea. Uh, I, it, I've not won in my bag, but Man, there's lots that aren't in my bag. Uh, just because it's not in my bag doesn't mean it's a good, not a good coin. We all have our own way of doing things, guys. There you go. That's my uh, update for you all. Well, like I said, if you want to learn more, if you want to hear more, and if you want to get all the little tips, tricks, and pointers, follow at TraderCobb on Twitter. Follow Crypto Revolution Investments on Twitter, and follow them on YouTube and Facebook as well. I am too on Facebook. I'm not very good at it yet. I promise I'll get better. Guys, what an amazing time to be alive. Speak to you all very soon. Bye.